Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to work on a new project and uh, I was inspired for the, for this project by uh, Gail, Gail Agostinelli. And so I know she inspires a lot of people. So anyway, I recently saw her uh, video where she created a binder journal and I thought oh I have one of those <laughs> uh, so I'm sure if y'all saw it maybe you said the same thing where's my binder you know better homes and gardens uh, garden book binder so I went and found mine I have the same one as she had and so here it is and I've already cleaned it up uh, and so I would like to go ahead and make one out of this journal I've been and there's certain things I have in the back of my mind and using some of my binders, cookbook, you know, and, uh, you know, the garden binders is one of my projects. I keep thinking, you know, I would really like to do one of those. So I got went ahead and got it out. And um, first thing, first thing Gail did was clean hers up. So I already did that uh, off video, off camera. And so uh, it came out, you know, it wasn't really that dirty, but I did wipe it down really good. Make sure it's you know clean and uh, and it, you know I wiped down the inside as much as I could as far as that goes uh, you know to get any you know if there was any dust or anything on here and I just want to show you this right here um, it's all clean but there's a little kind of just you know it this is 1954 so it is an old binder but right here I'll probably put some pretty paper here. It's got this little, you know, push thing to push the papers back and forth. And it's got its plastic little piece under here. And it's got this, like, map and title information here. So it was all, you know, pretty clean. So, but the only thing I was going to share this with you because uh, the only thing it had right here was somebody had written a price, like, in marker right there. And I was like, hmm. Gosh, I hope, I wonder, you know, I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to get that off. That was my first thought. That's in marker. But then as I was wiping it down, I thought it didn't come. I, I cleaned it with a baby wipe, like an actual baby wipe. That's what I use. It's kind of, I think the baby wipes, you know, they clean good. And uh, they're, you know, maybe not as strong as an antiseptic wipe. And maybe a, more, a little more delicate. I don't know. But um, I haven't, I have used an antiseptic wipes in my craft room, but since we haven't been able to get them, and they're back in the stores now, but I just started buying baby wipes, and so that's what I have now. <laughs> so I think maybe that might be, you know, something that, you know, my thought was maybe it cleans really good, but it's not so harsh as maybe an antiseptic wipe. So that's just a thought. I don't know. I haven't tested it out, but uh, you can see the condition of this is really good. It's not like pure white, like it maybe was at one time. It probably was whiter. And it has like a kind of a, you know, it's not dark or anything. or, and, But it's not just that white. It's not white anymore, I guess is my point. So uh, then what I did to organize was I got out some scrapbook paper and some books that I thought I might be able to use. And so I wanted to have them out so I could... You know show you and also start working on the journal so I have this gardening book too that I got a few years ago at a yard sale so it has these pages it's a binder too it has the pages like this these I'm sure you've seen people use these and this is really you know it's just full of these pages and it's these pages that are kind of doubled they're really nice to use in journals because you have whole double page like this and they're pretty like this with the flowers and you know pretty on the inside too a lot of them so anyway it's just a ton if you ever see one of these books there's a ton of uh, usable paper and pages you know pretty gardening pages in here as you can see very pretty flowers because I look at you know I I see these once in a while and I'll look at them and some of them I'm just like well that's not really you know that great but uh, you know, if you see a nice one, I don't pick them all up because I don't need them all, but I did pick this one up because um, it had, this is the cover, Successful Gardening, and I just thought, you know, it just had the really pretty pages, so I did pick that one up at a yard sale a few years ago. As you can see, I haven't used very many pages of it, 
and I have uh, my, this is the Edith Holden book that I've been uh, using and I've already taken a, this one apart. It's the regular size one. This is the dust cover and this is what it looks like underneath. And so this one I have used a few pages out of, but as you can see, not a lot. So I have plenty of to choose from there. I want to use some of those. And then I have this, I thought, you know, it's called Gardener's Diary. It's uh, the Metropolitan Muse Museum of Art. It's a little book. And I thought it was pretty when I picked it up. I thought it would be neat to use. I haven't used any of it yet. But uh, look how pretty the pages are. They are a little shorter than this, uh, you know, binder. But I would like to try them in here and see how they fit into the little binder rings and see if we can use some of these. Like there's little graphs. Did you see that? There's, first of all, the pretty pictures, the planning uh, charts here. And then there was another little, I just saw, see this graph paper for planning your garden? Um, I almost wonder if we could tilt it this way. I guess it still wouldn't be the full length of the pages in here. Uh, let's see, I already made a little template here. See, here's what the pages will look like this big. And so, so you can see how much how much bigger this is than this. So either way, let's see. So let's test it for a second here now that we have this out. See the where the, where the holes are. So if I line this up, it could fit into, if we line it up with the top, it could fit in three and almost four holes. Or we could put it in the middle and have it going through three holes. See right there where we punch three holes. So that could work. That could be something we could use, this book right here. And then I have the Edith Holden Country Diary Nature Notes. And this is the one with, uh, it has the pretty borders on one side. And then I think it has, does it have writing on the other side of each page? Let's see. Yeah, see how it has writing on this side or text. And then the, you know, the lines here. So I have a lot of this. Uh, I'm trying to see if I had any writing in this one. Yeah, here's a little bit of writing right here. In January, they started planting their garden, but I don't think they wrote anything else in here for the rest. If they did, it's not very much, like maybe one page. <laughs> so I have a lot of usable pages here to choose from. And they're very Edith Holden-esque. Like there's that one. I think there's a night pretty like pretty one like this at the beginning of each month and then just all these pretty pages so that is another choice of pages we have and then I pulled out I pulled out too much scrapbook paper we won't use it you know I just did, couldn't narrow it down so I have this paper pad easy peasy I believe I got this at Tuesday morning so you can see how pretty this is it looked gardeny and you know pretty bright uh like this is really this is tomatoes i think uh, <laughs> but pretty bright kind of spring and you know gardeny colors with some cut aparts so i don't know i don't i didn't know if this was too bright and too modern for this 1954 book but it certainly is pretty paper so i wanted to get it out as an option so there's that one and then there's this one, which I think I also got it Tuesday morning. This one's Modern Millinery Nouveau. Modern, well, that's the same. Color block. I wonder, the color block. I wonder if I got this at Walmart. I don't know, but Walmart does sell color blocks, so I may have got it there. I don't know. But uh, anyway, this one has a lot of florals in it, too. Let me just get to the floral. See right here these pretty papers and they're all double-sided. I pulled out all double-sided papers. So you can see there's lots of flowery choices in here. And see even that's flowery and just lots of pretty colors and florals. So that is an option. Another scrapbook paper pad. And then, let's see, <laughs> I told you I put, pulled out too much. These are some that I got at a thrift store. They're just random, so I'd have to go through these and narrow them down. But they're just pretty colors and florals and things. And this next one I got for my birthday from my daughter-in-law. So this is uh, this has a lot some like this is bees. This is a bee page. That would be pretty. See the cut aparts here. There's a floral and just pretty cut aparts that could be drawing cards and 
pockets and things. And then see there's some lemons and just pretty colors and florals and you know, we could pick and choose what we would want to use. There's there's some some green plants there. So, you know, this is a garden book theme. So yeah. And then just some more random, random, uh, my paper's trying to fall down. Yeah, some more random pieces that I had got at a thrift store that I just have to like go through and pick out the florals or whatever here. And there's Christmas and everything mixed up in here because I had got this at a thrift store. So I wanted to see if there was any in there I could use. And then I have my green basket over here to organize. You know, I use these green baskets to organize my project. So um, after I'm done with the project, say so I have several things going on during the week, I can put this project in my basket and bring another project in. And I don't have a big mess here that I have to leave on my table. So anyway, um, after I cleaned my book up, I made this template just by taking a page out. So I just like kind of flip this over so I could open up this book easily because these are, this is a really strong, I can see why it lasted and you know, it's 1954 and it's still together and good because these binder rings for one thing are really strong. I had a, you had to really pull on those and use your muscles to open those, but I just took page out like this and I cut a piece of cardboard down the same size of the page. I just used my paper cutter and cut around. And then I put my hole punched this way right here and just boom, 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 punch the holes. And so I, then I had a template. So that what we use this to measure our pages and whatever we put in here and to punch our holes. But I also, uh, a tip from uh, Gail was to write the word top on the top of each, both sides so that, you know, cause if you were to turn this around, it might not, it might not line up. I don't know. It might, but it, you know, you don't want to take any chances of things not lining up right because then your pages aren't going to turn right and everything like that. So I did do that too. Wrote top there and there with a the pen so we know. <laughs> we know what we're doing here. So uh, that's the way I'm getting started. Um, I, I was, um, when I decided to do this project, I had already, and I thought, well, I can use these two pieces of ephemera in here that I already made because I thought, well, they, you know, I knew I was going to save these for a taller project, a taller book, but, um, I didn't know what it was when I made them. And then when I decided to do this, I was like, oh, I can use these two taller pieces of ephemera in here. But this was a, uh, card. See this? that I received, uh, oh, this was, pack. I think this was packaging maybe. You see this pretty green? Um, I think this was packaging. And then I just uh, did some decorating on here. And this is like a little belly band. It actually slides up and down. Or, you, and you can, so you can, uh, you know, the idea is to leave it on here. You can move it around and tuck something under there. And you can write on this little piece here. But these are pieces from my, I think they're from Your Creative Studio. And then I used some of the washi tape to make this belly band. And there's like cardstock under there. And some of the lace from your Creative Studio too. And has a little topper on it there. So that was just a cute little piece of, you know, like a large tag that I made. And so that will fit in there. You can see it's not taller than the book. And this is just a little, uh, well, this is a small one, but this is a little, um, a recipe card that I decorated on this side just playing around with some of my bits from the Your Creative Studio and then this was another little um, thing that I picked up at a thrift store that um, it's one of those sliding charts see that and I thought it would be cool it's vintage it's old and I thought it would be cool to make it into kind of like a drawing space but just kind of fun because it's different so I decorated the outside with pieces from my Your Creative Studio and probably some in of art stuff on here too. And so you can see how it's all kind of decorated and I think it came out really pretty and vintagey looking and has some florals on there so it would go, you know, I think in the garden journal just fine. And then this is the slider part that was the chart that you could see under here, you know, when it was like a little chart thing that you figured out whatever it was. I don't remember what it was now. But I also decorated this piece in here, so this could be the drilling space. 
So I put coffee dyed paper here with some little decorations. This is washi tape. And then some more over here with a little, this is a little acetate sticker. And some more of that washi tape down there. And I wanted to make sure it was nice and flat so it could still fit in here. So I think that came out really cute. So those are some pieces of ephemera I already have done for this uh, garden journal. And so, um, and I have lots of ephemera that I already have done. So before I make more ephemera, I will go through my ephemera that I already have made and see if we can use a bunch of that. So that will save some time in creating this journal. But the first thing that Gail did was go through here and pick out pages um, that she wanted to keep in. She said she kept all the sections and then she says she tries to keep two pages from each section in a section and then everything then she goes back and of course adds her scrap of papers and things. So I need to watch my time. I have my TV going with the timer here so I've got my little control here so I can kind of check the time once in a while. And I have, yeah, I have a little bit of time left here. So I thought maybe we could do that since I already kind of got a head start with the template and the cleaning. You know, we're ready to take these pages out. And I can uh, play it by ear with the pages here, but I'm just going to see if I can open it up from here. Like I said, you really got to use your muscles on these. But, um, yeah, the dividers look good. We'll, we'll kind of see. I haven't really looked through the whole thing yet. But there are these yellow dividers, really cool. That's a really cool little house there. So we're going to try not to talk about the pages too much. These were stuck in here. I don't think they even go in here. But they were stuck in here. I'm going to take those out. We could always, I mean, we could always punch holes and use them in here. We could use some of these. And these are like that. I got these recently from the thrift store, and they were in here. But they look like the pages in that other big garden binder that I showed you that open up. These are the same types of pages, so I don't know. <laughs> there must have been one there at the thrift store, just pages from one. So, um, yeah, we're picking out a couple of pretty pages from each um, section, and then uh, let me move. I didn't know if we were going to do any paper cutting tonight, so I wanted to have my paper cutter handy with my template, but we'll, I'll use my basket over here for the moment and just put the pages that we don't want in the final garden journal over there for now but um see gail was saying she liked the picture on this side mostly or on both sides so like this is a pretty one here i don't remember exactly what pictures she picked out i'm not trying to copy her i'm just trying to you know take the inspiration and make a journal you know out of my own you know you know put my own spin on it now this one I would probably use, but it's got all of the holes are torn, which we can fix, but I'm going to take it out for now and see um, what else we find. Maybe I'll turn it to the side in case we want to put it back. This one is, you know, this one's just black and white. I kind of would like the colored pages. Oh, here's another one here. Okay, so maybe this can be an option. This is a pretty one. So we'll keep that one. And let's see if we can just kind of go a little bit quick here and just see if there's anything else that kind of looks as good as those two right there. Um, it probably could get really hard to narrow down sometimes with all the probably pretty pages they have in these garden journals. That's a cute one with the little girl. So these two have all, let's see, the first one was black and white on the back. That one's black and white on the back. That, this one's black and white on the back. I might keep that one now for now and see. Let's see what else there is in here. So, oh, this is a neat one with the kind of a landscape plan here. Uh, this next one right here, that's kind of neat. Gosh, it is going to be hard to narrow these down because they're all so neat, right? <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll take those out and... Um, see what we do we could uh, I have to watch Gail's other videos again on this series I watched the second one I mean the first one and I didn't watch I don't think I, I watched the last one I don't know if I watched the second and third one all the way through so I'll have to go back and watch and see what she did uh, as far as the, those next steps okay so we kept three in there I think did we keep three or four 
we kept three. <laughs> that was kind of hard though to narrow it down to only three. So this is they seem to start the first, you know, up to the first page after the divider is very pretty. So we'll keep that one again. Here's some kids in the yard. That's cute. Let's see what else we have. Any more gardeny gardeny type pictures? Here's some new lawns. This is the lawn section. Oh, this is cute. I like that. That one's jumping out at me, but I like this one too. Let's keep this one for an option <laughs> for the moment. We might put that back, but I like this one here. That's more of a garden, you know, with the plants. Uh, let's see what else. Maybe we'll be keeping three in each section. Let's see. Most of these are in. Just once in a while, there's one that's not out. So that section is done. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep three. We kept three in the first one. Keep three in this one. We can always take more out later if we have too many, you know, if it gets too bulky or something. So here's the next divider. These dividers are looking really good. I like the yellow color. Here's the pretty starting page again. Okay, and all the holes look good. This back looks good too. There's a pretty little picture right here. Can you see that okay? And this one's nice. It has a picture on both sides. Maybe we'll keep that for the moment. I think Gail might have kept that one too. I'm not sure. Uh-oh, here's some more pretty ones. We're going to be in trouble here. Look at that one. Oh, this one's pretty on both sides. Hmm, let's keep that one for now. <laughs> That's the third. Let's see, where does this go to? All the way to here. This has a lot of people. A lot of pages. Well, there's a pretty one with tulips. Is that tulip? Looks like, well, I don't know what those are. I shouldn't say what they are because they don't think they're tulips. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, here's another pretty one daffodils. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty one, too. Goodness, this is a hard section. What is this? Continuous bloom. Okay, so let's see. That's a pretty one, but let's see. That's black and white and black and white on the other side. So yeah, if you have one of these garden journals and you haven't, um, you didn't see Gail's, you know, videos, I'll link her. Oh, that's a pretty one too. I'll link her. I'll, I'll look and see if she has a playlist on it. And if she doesn't, I'll just link the individual videos as I go. You know, like since this is my first one, I'll link her first one under here under my video and uh she had said that you know one thing she said was um if you wanted to make a binder journal but it ne wasn't necessarily you didn't necessarily want to make a garden themed one you could that's so pretty i'm gonna keep that for the moment i'm gonna keep all the pretty ones <laughs> but um yeah, she said just, you know, get out whatever your, your you know, binder is, cooking, sewing, whatever, and just use, do the same, con you know, kind of concept, but with whatever theme your binder is. Uh, hmm, okay, I think I won't keep that one, even though I like it. I love that one. Our daffodils are blooming. In our yard I didn't have any and then my son took some out of his yard because they have baby Riley and they didn't want to be doing any gardening you know when they had a baby to deal with so they took they actually dug them all up so they wouldn't grow <laughs> and and gave them to me in a big bucket and there were a bunch of them I planted them all in the fall so they would be blooming now okay we're going to take out, we might take out more later. I know I'm keeping way too many in here, but I just love all of those. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here's the pretty, oh, look at this. Wow, too many pretty, oh, that's double-sided too. Okay, so, oh goodness, we're going to have to get, I'm going to have to get harsh with myself and <laughs> take out some more of these pages. Uh, those are black and white, so I don't have to. Any trouble? Oh, I love this one right here. That's really pretty. I love that. I'm going to keep that one for the moment. And pretty rose bush here, or roses. But they're, well, those are in a, oh, I guess, it looks like maybe she's cut them. She's holding them in her hands. And then this is how to display them, maybe. So 
So I'll go ahead and take those out since I'm keeping so many. Okay, next section. I'm going to try to go a little quick here so I can get through this part of taking the pages out. And then next time in the next video, if I don't get to start uh, looking, making new pages during this video, I will start that in the next video. I'm going to keep that one too. That's beautiful. And then I'm going to be a little harsh with myself and just kind of like, even though flip through these really quick, but take them all out. And so we can always put more of those back in too if we want to, or take some of these out, switch them out, whatever we want to do. So in this section, this is, uh, what is this, evergreens? Hmm. Okay. Because like I have too many back here maybe, but why can't I just switch them around? Do I have to have them in the right section? What do you think? <laughs> Should I, if you were getting this journal, would you want the pages from the sections to be in the right section? Does that matter? I don't think it would matter to me. But if you're going to use this for gardening, maybe. See, I would probably get a journal like this, but not usually really use it for gardening. I would just use it for, as a regular journal. You know what I mean? So, so then it wouldn't matter to me what section, what pages were in. I would just think it's a pretty page. That's all. It didn't, didn't matter that it's in the wrong section. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe you can let me know what y'all think. Okay, so let's, this is a little easier when there's not as many pretty pages, so we will keep going here. That's a pretty one with the grapes. We'll keep that. And depending on what y'all say about putting the pages in the wrong section, <laughs> that'll make, that might help me decide, that will help me decide what to do about that because, you know, I left too many pages in some of these sections and then I can... If you think it's okay, I will move them around into other sections. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm not sure about that one. This is a what is this? Some kind of a, what is this section called? Pools. Uh, this is actually kind of neat right here. It's black and white, but it's a little pond, like a backyard pond drawing. So let's see, what was this first one? See, this isn't really doing anything for me. I mean, it's a nice picture, but I like this one with the little drawing of a pond. And uh, that doesn't really... This chart is kind of nice. I like charts. Okay, so I'll keep those two. Shade. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Those are tulips, I believe. All right, well, I have tulips in a... Uh, a pot that come each, come up each year, but they have. I don't think they've come up yet. I hope they come up this year. They usually come up first, though, so I'm a little worried that they're not going to come back. But I got lots of daffodils from my son coming up. I planted them everywhere I could plant a tulip. I mean, a, a daffodil it was like, because there were so many, I was just like digging a hole in the ground and putting like ten in there. I mean, he gave me a bucket, bucket full. So. And I just was like, uh, you know, it was like so many. I couldn't just dig a hole for each one. I had dug one big hole and dumped them all, like like I said, to about 10 in there. So, <laughs> And they are growing, so it was not a bad idea. <laughs> they are growing out of the one hole. A bunch of daffodils coming up. Okay, so we're, wow, there is a lot of sections in here. We might not get through this. I didn't realize there were so many sections in here. So, oh, that's a pretty one. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm trying to go quick, but there's just so many sections and so many pages. Uh, so maintenance. See, this is where I want to move. If I don't like any of these pages, move some of those from the front here, or maybe some of the ones we rejected that were still pretty. We could put in this section if there's no like really pretty kind of. Anything that oh, I like that right there though. See, I like charts, and that's a colorful chart. I want to go all the way. Well, let's see if there's any more in front of that. But that's two right there. Two colorful charts. I like that other chart better though. So we'll keep those two chart pages. That was not too uh, 
card, but see how pretty those two are with the red and the yellow? Doesn't have to all be floral, right? Does it? No. <laughs> okay. Construction. Well, that's an awfully pretty construction page. We'll keep that one. And I need to check my time. Probably getting there. Okay, yeah, we've got about, about a minute or two here. So um, we've got quite a few sections. So I'll go ahead and finish these off. We'll do one or two more on video right now, and then I'll finish these off off camera, and I'll come back, and we'll we'll put start putting pages in here. Uh, maybe I'll cut some, so you don't have to watch me cutting. And I'll start cutting and punching holes, and then we'll put them in together into the sections maybe. You can see, help me decide, uh, you know, what to put where, and how many to put in each section, and fold outs and pockets and things. So, so I will let you go. I hope you uh, do this project with me if you have a binder, and uh, we'll see how this all turns out. So thanks for watching tonight, and happy crafting. See you next time.